okay <coughs> today we will see another example like last time we saw one too many correct mm -hmm. so one too many we i mean we had another i mean we saw one example with like cart and items okay so one cart having many items so each item we are trying to map with a, to a specific cart okay so as part of an items table we are trying to refer the cart number so that we can able to tell at any point of time this product is selected by this particular cart person okay that is that example is good for one to many and now today okay. we are going to see another example many to many so the many to many is the very best i mean this is also one of the frequently used example in case of real time in case of development okay. so <clears throat> now let me tell you what is the i mean just theoretically why we need this example so if you see the groups for any application right i can able to say mm -hmm. three categories so groups of login so if you say any like uh, so for instance one of the facebook facebook having not not, not facebook take amazon like some shopping website so shopping website they have admins and, okay. and yesterday uh, yesterday you sent me the video right uh, uh, yes i i send you right Yes, yes. No, no. Uh, but um, that video in YouTube, it was said that it was uploaded on the first, uh, first of October. First of October. Uh, yesterday was second of October, right? Yes. Okay. Ah, oh, that is correct. Yesterday is second. Maybe I sent you the wrong link or what? Okay. Let me check it out. Maybe I send some more link. Mm. So this is the one I sent you. Okay, let me play it. Can scroll down? Can you scroll down? Mm -hmm. It will say publish date. Oh. This is published on October. Uh -huh. But by seeing the title, I confirm that like uh, this is yours. I have not one too many. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. I have, I mean, uh, the video I can able to send you. By seeing this date, right? One too many. I mm -hmm. confirm, and these mm -hmm. are yours only. These examples one, two, three, one, two, one mapping, one, two, many. And today we are going to discuss many, many. Okay, that's fine. I will send. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the the, uh, the heading was right, but uh, um, just because I saw that October one, I wasn't sure. Yes, yes, yes. The video was wrong, might be. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I will send mm -hmm. today. Okay. Okay. And today I will send two videos. Okay. And today's okay. one and uh, yesterday's one. And now okay. today we will see the another example. Like one too many, so the first one, the first user we can say admins. So admins can able to mm -hmm. add the users. So these are the superpower people. Okay, I can say these are admins. And second in users, so they registered mm -hmm. themselves. Our admin created these users, and they will log in and they will do the I main operations, whatever they want. And the last one is guest. So guest they will not register. Mm -hmm. Just what they will do, just they will enter their name and they will proceed and they will. I mean, they will do the shopping, mm -hmm. whatever they want to. These are the three possible groups users. For, for any applications, mm -hmm. users. Okay. And now if I want to say in admin, how many people are there? <coughs> mm -hmm. As part of group, how many people are there? As part of guest, how many people are there? And if you say the combination, some people might belongs to admin and users, correct? Mm -hmm. Some people might be belongs to admin and users. Some people might they will behave like a users and guest. 
and some people mm. might be have like combinations so there might be a number mm-hmm. of combinations one person might be belongs to admin and users and some person they registered as a user and guest okay so like this how many combinations is there and each group how many people are there so if you want to identify this one it's very easy to identify if you follow this process so in this case we have we the extra third table also will be created first first mm-hmm. one is group table <clears throat> and second table is users table and th- third table is user underscore group table so this is the extra okay. table. it will be created and here we are going to mention the, all the combinations of the users versus groups mm-hmm. so this is also one of the frequently used table or or what is a mapping okay let me open okay we'll see Okay, if you see this one, right? <coughs> this is a user user yeah. information. So yeah. <coughs> each user, for each user, right? We have to give some user ID. This is the ID. Okay. And username, password, and email. Yeah. So these are the user information. Okay. So whenever okay. we are trying, whenever you are trying to register one particular user, you have to tell this user is a. like uh, this user belongs to which group this user is a mm. admin or user or guest okay and the and this user belongs to one particular group definitely correct mm mm-hmm. and uh, so this user must be belongs to definitely one of the group like user admin or something so and one user might belongs to more than one group also correct so that's what we are trying to add this as a set okay so that we can create one user and you can say this user is a user and admin and uh, so on so like that so you can able to add more number of uh, groups of this user this is the mm-hmm. first one and i am trying to add this user information as part of the constructor username password and email okay. <coughs> and uh, so that is the purpose of this constructor and uh, the second one is right if you see here right add group there is a one method i added so what is the purpose of mm-hmm. this group right add method group add group method first i will create mm-hmm. a set of groups and that groups i want to add to the user finally so i will call this method so basically you are not able to okay. assign groups value as part of the constructor we should not assign the value so why because this is a collection okay. element right collection element we should never assign directly okay so that's what we have to create a separate method and assign it and rest of the things are set okay. later hmm and this is about user table now go to the group table so group table also it's kind of similar one we have a group name and group id mm-hmm. <coughs> and corresponding users so so here also you need to create a bunch of users and uh, try to get the existing first we have to create a groups first we have to create a groups with only these two names id and group name then done mm-hmm. after that whenever you are trying to create a user right so create a user and try to get the corresponding group id okay and you can map it so this is the three fields and these are the setter getters okay and i am trying to assign the group id as part of the group name as part of the constructor and anyway id will generate from the database side and okay. this is also kind of a collection element so i do i don't want to assign directly as part of constructor just i want to assign by using a method add user and this is the uh, simple java classes 
and now we will see the hvm file the in hvm file you will see one new tag many to many and rest of the things are same hibernate mapping package name <coughs> class name table name id generator native property group name so it's a similar kind of thing mm. and now you will see here the set so here you will see the difference is many to many and rest mm. of the things are same and cascade okay. i mean save and update whenever you are trying to delete this whenever you are trying to delete or update this particular group table we have to check this group is assigned to any one of the users or not if this group okay. is assigned to somebody else then we should not delete the group table correct yes yes so then in that case if you delete it right then the users will become groupless got it so that's what we have to mention cascade equal to save and update okay and uh, so each user so each in each user whenever they are trying to create a new in each user whenever they are trying to create a groups then we have to consider this scenario as a many to many okay this group group id especially in the similar way if you see here is there hbm xml the only difference is set rest of the things are same so many to many and we have to map the corresponding columns mm -hmm. so here we need user id basically whenever you are trying okay. to create uh, use one whenever you are trying to use one one of the <coughs> user or creating a user we need a group mm -hmm. id so if you are trying to create one user so we need a group id so that user belongs to which group? so that that one particular user can belongs to multiple groups so that's what we are saying here many to many group id okay so one user can belongs to multiple groups this is the may just we need to understand the requirement whether this requirement will belongs to one to one or one to many or many to many then we have to pick corresponding set and rest of okay. the things are same okay and now we will see configuration there is no change if we see the configuration inside the configuration there is no change so here the change is if you see here instead of one xml i am referring here two xmls okay so that is the only difference rest of the things are same okay and hvm xmls there is no change group the I mean we already saw so this is a manager okay now we will see this one just one second i will come one second nikhil i will come
Yeah, hello. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Now we'll see the I am I mean like manager class or how to create users and group. Okay, if you see this one, right? Okay. So this part is same configuration, session factory, session and transaction. Now first okay. part we had to do, we had to create a group, empty group, just group name and group ID will generate from the database and and we had to give some group name. So this is the way, just first time trying to create a group name, group admin. Okay. The name is admin group. And the second group name is group guest. I'm okay. creating and group name I'm passing as part of the constructor. Okay. And ID will generate from the database. For the time being, these groups, these groups don't have any users. These three groups don't have any users. Just I created a empty groups. Okay. okay. Now the second one you see right user. So user equal to new user and I created three users and passwords and emails. So first time when 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 any user is creating, so we had to register them with their details with the password. And by group you mean table only, right? Sorry? Uh, by group you mean table only, right? Yeah, this uh, is one uh, different table. It's just kind of start, one time table. So they will register all possible groups. They will register yeah, our yeah, possible groups in one table. Okay, it's a table. I mean, why are you using it as a group? Why can't you just create, uh, make it like a table? Uh, gr group is a Java class from our side. It's a Java class. And if you want to... Oh, it's Java class. It's a Java class, yeah. If you want to give some different yeah. table, users underscore group, that you can control here in database. So here, okay, okay. so here you can write, write table name, whatever you want, user underscore group something. So that okay, then that okay. will become the table name and this is your Java class. That is a flexibility of fiber network. So, what we used to say, yeah. So here we have uh, the table name as groups, is it? Yes, yes, correct, yes. So you can give any name for time being, maybe I given groups. Okay. Group is our Java class. And there are three types. Groups inside that table. Yes, inside the right. groups table, you will see three entries. Okay. These three entries. And, uh, and for each of those group, we are adding the values here. Yes, yes, correct. Right. Yes, yes, these three, these are the values. Mm. And after that, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to create users. User, user one equal to new user, Kumar and mm -hmm. his password and his email and okay. second user Rajesh some password and email third user and mm -hmm. password after that what I'm trying to do so I have already one uh, group table admin group so for this admin I am trying to add one user so for each pick one user and add for this user to uh, he belongs to which group? Okay. Add user. So take any user and add this user belongs to admin and this user belongs to guest. So user one belongs to admin and guest. Okay. Correct? And user two belongs mm -hmm. to only admin and user. And user three belongs to admin and user. So this okay. is the way to map user to group. Okay. And now, the second question is, so whenever you are creating a user, right? So we need to add, so whenever you are trying to create a user, so we need to add this user belongs to which group? So if you see here, you for a user, I am trying to add one admin group. User two hmm. belongs to admin group. User one belongs to guest. So basically here, user one belongs to admin group and guest group. So vice versa, okay. we need to add here. In group table, we need to add user information, and in user in user information also we need to add the group information. But these two values will be saved in a separate table, so that we will see no, once once you, once you will execute it right, then we will see the table structure. And finally, first what you have to do, we have to save first group table. So user one and user three are going to be both guest and admin. Yes, one, one belongs to admin and three. and three belongs to also admin. Yeah, both, both are going to be guest also 
and admin also. Three is a uh, user. No, three. Is both yes, yes. For all. Yeah, three is three, is three user three having all, all permissions. Hmm. And user two is the only admin. Okay, and user yeah. one has admin and guest. Yes, correct. So if you see, user one is admin and guest, and user two is only admin, and user three is having all the groups. Okay. And finally, okay. what you have to do first, we have to save the group group table. So mm -hmm. because group can exist without any users, correct? Yes. After that, once the groups are created successfully, then only you can able to create the users. So users cannot exist without belongs to any group. Okay. So that's what we have to say first. These groups. After that, we have to save these users. Okay. Okay. Now what I will do? <clears throat> let me run this program. And before running, let me see what is that configuration. I want to create a fresh new tables. So it's create. This is fine. So create means first time what it will do, it will create a new table and it will add all that primary key, foreign key, whatever it's required. And you can able to see that constraints also. Let me run it. Okay, let me analyze the console. So here, if you see here, right? First, what it is trying to do, it is creating one table called users underscore users groups. Mm -hmm. It's a relation between these two tables. If you see here, when I told you, right, it will create three table, the star table. So this mm -hmm. is one table and second table and this is a third table. So what it is trying to do, mm -hmm. it is trying to delete the third table first if it is there. Okay. So users group. So it is trying to alter and drop the all the keys if it is there. After that, what it is trying to do, it is trying to delete the groups table, user groups. Okay. I mean, user groups is the third table. After that, it is dealing to groups table. After that, it is trying to delete the users For, table. Foreign key. Yes. Finally, it is a, a minute deleting the table users group. This is a users group is a key, foreign key. Okay. And these are the tables. You groups table, users table, user groups is another table, third table. Totally three tables. Hmm. Just it is trying to tell it, delete it if it is there. After that, what is trying to do? First okay. table, it is creating groups table. Hmm. Group ID will generate from the database, auto increment ID, and name we are giving as part of the constructor. And it is considering group ID as a unique or primary key. Okay, now the second, after that, what is trying to do? It is trying to create the user table. Hmm. So user ID is auto increment, username, password, email, and primary key is user ID. Mm -hmm. And after that, what is trying to do? It is trying to create the linkage table, third table. Okay. Group ID and user ID in this table. Okay. So these two are com primary keys. So in whenever you're trying to add entries in this table, one user uh, user ID and group ID. We should not add duplicates. Okay. Same user ID, same group ID. We should not add two times. Correct. Okay. So that's what it is considering these two group ID, user ID as a unique key, primary key or combination of. Then it is adding the constraints, user ID, foreign key, and group ID as a foreign key in this uh, reference table, okay. users group table. And after that, it is trying to insert the values. First, it is inserting the values into the group table, so that users table, and it is adjusting the references. Finally, it is adding the data into the third table. 
and uh, we'll see the data so that it will make sense for you more sense So these are the tables available in our database and as specific to our I mean, example, how many tables are created? Three tables. Mm -hmm. The first table is groups. See here, we okay. have groups table. Let me select, select, star from groups. So you'll see here three groups are created. One, two, three, admin group, users group guest group yes, sir. Okay. so users are ready now sorry groups are ready now let me see how many users are available what is the table name users so three users are created user id username password and mm -hmm. email so this is okay perfect. now we need to see the third table so which is having the relationship between users and groups so this okay. table name also we can able to give if you see this what is this hbm table so you will see the table name here as part of many to many we have to give the relation table name also so what is the third table user group mm -hmm. see here user group these are the third table we are going to create okay now let me select that table and we will see how many records is there It's a group right now. Users groups, yes. So this is the users groups. See here, first is group ID. Group ID one mm. means admin group. In admin group, user ID one is there, Shankar is there. So I mean, we saw it. User ID Rajesh belongs to three groups, correct? I mean, uh, third user. Yes, yes. So third mm. user, user ID is three. So let me three here. What is the user ID? For only two user in that it says the user ID three belong to group ID one and mm. three. User it doesn't say it belongs to group ID two also, okay. right? Well, yeah, so let me see here. So here user ID, user ID, whether we are saving the users or not. Yes, see here there is a mistake so first i am saving the groups 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 after that i am not saving the users mm. correct or yes, else yes. if you see here so this is a group admin so user 1 i added user 2 i added user 3 i added and mm -hmm. here so for admin group i added user 1 2 3 for user, what I, I added user 3 and user 2. Mm. Yeah, yeah, there you haven't added user 3. Mm. So that, 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 that's what you will not see that entries. And uh, <coughs> user 1 is admin. Okay, let me compare here. So this is the group ID, right? So in group, mm -hmm. as part of admin group, you will see user ID one, correct? And yes. uh, as part of very second, as part of um, user ID two belongs to user one two mm. three belongs to admin group. First we will see that one one and uh, two okay. two two and three three. Correct. So one one two two three three. So that is perfect. And the third one is what is this? User belongs to user three belongs to user group. Okay, where is this three? So this is the one. User three belongs to user group. User three belongs to user group. And the last one is uh, user one belongs to guest. So where is user one? So this is user one. So user one belongs to guest. 
the last group is mm -hmm. guest and here yes. so here we no need to save two times if you see here right group admin group admin mm -hmm. we are just we are saving the same information again back so instead of that okay. we save here user 1 user 2 user 3 Yeah. Now we will see. Is there any difference? One three one, one two one three, one one double two double three. So basically, here we no need to save this one. Okay, let me save now. Yeah, now we will see the relationship. So, we, we, so user 1, 2, 3 belongs to admin. User okay. is 1. Admin group is first, correct? So 1, 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 1. So the 1, okay. 1, 2, 3 is available. And if you see this user 3, right? User 3 belongs to as a user 3 is mm -hmm. a user. So user group is, what is the user group? Let me. Yes. No, we will see. Okay, now we will see user 3 belongs to user. So, what is the user group? 3. So, user mm -hmm. 3 belongs to third group. Now we will see user 1. So, this user 1 belongs to guest. So, user 1 okay. belongs to guest. So, user 1 guest. So, guest role is 2. So, user 1. Okay. There is user one. Yes. Yeah. This user one belongs to the third group. Got it. So this is the way we can able to create the this third table and this third table name we are going to give as part of your set. So this is the one little bit difference between one to one and one to many. In one to one and in one to many, so we will never create third table. Okay. So this is the third table in one to one and in one to many. Sorry, in one to one and in one to many, we will never create third table. Just we are trying to manage with two tables only. But whereas in case of many to many, we have to create third table and there we have to give the relationships. Got it. Okay. So that is the main difference between this one to one, one to one, one to many and many to many. Okay. Right. And you will see here, right? Some uh, difference. So you will not see here as it is. So this is perfect, right? And whenever you are mm -hmm. trying to create the users, right? So we need to add a similar way. So for user one, you need to add admin, and for user two also, you need to add admin. User three also, we have to add admin. admin. Then you will see proper results. Okay. We need to add the similar way how we are adding the vice versa. We need to add it here. Then we need to save the user. Okay. Then you will see the proper results like how we are assigning one, two, three for admin and three for user. Three we need to add here, here as a user. Then, okay. you will see, then you will see as it is how we are adding here. The similar way we need to add users to the group so here groups to the user here groups users to the group so just we need to add the similar way then you will not see any mm -hmm. this kind of discrepancy okay so that is the basic one two three three so here this one you can say two so uh, remember we were talking about earlier right about uh, join functions and all right yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that is a different example. Okay, okay. That is a different example. The joins and all. More complicated. 
yes yes that also i will give one example so this is okay. about uh, joinings so i mean <coughs> mappings and we have another example okay. i'll give like a uh, what is a composite key so far how we are creating a key one one column we are considering as a unique key so this is a unique key correct mm. yes now what i want to do <coughs> uh, let's say for instance first name and last name and email three fields is there first name last name and email so if one person is trying to register first name last name and e with email is the same name then we should not allow that person okay this kind of uh, by considering two columns as a group unique key composite key that is also one important okay. and i will i mean i will give another example that joins how to write a join query when you write your own query okay and you can apply that one on this on this table that we used to call it as a hsql okay. hibernate query language okay you write a query and you keep that query in your xml in your mm. xml and you can call that text a query wherever you need and you can execute and you can get the results just write query okay. one time one time and you can call that query <coughs> anywhere okay and uh, that way you can able to reuse that query Okay. Okay, I will send out. So, uh, where do you write the query in that? Uh, in HQL, yes, in XML only. In XML. XML, okay. So you write that query and you give the some name to that query. The query is some okay. employee joined or something. So that by okay, using that okay. name, you can able to retrieve the query and you can able to execute and you can able to get the results. Okay. that one we used to call as a hibernate uh, query language okay. hql that also i'll give one example okay. yes yes yeah and uh, i will send you today two videos one is this <coughs> many to many and the yesterday one one to many mm. maybe i added wrong okay. i will send it today okay also files and uh, you got yesterday files properly E yesterday means the, the other one which is sent right the other file java file along with the video yes yes yeah 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 they are fine yes so may uh, i haven't the uh, installed it i mean i haven't checked okay yeah, then fine i will send files also yesterday files video and today files and video okay sure okay sure. okay okay yeah right. thanks yeah